This video was made possible by Squarespace. Build your website for 10% off at squarespace.com HAI. This train should not exist. And if it were up to the train company, it wouldn't, but it's not. You see, in the UK, trains work off a franchising system where the UK government awards contracts to different private companies to operate rail services. For example, Virgin Trains East Coast operates the East Coast route, ScotRail operates most trains in Scotland, TransPennine Express operates many trains to and from Manchester, and there are about two dozen other operators. But this particular train that shouldn't exist is operated by Chiltern Railways. They mostly operate trains to smaller towns between London and Birmingham, and all their trains to London terminate at Marylebone station. Except for one. This one. This particular train operates from the nearby London Paddington station, the terminus for Great Western and Heathrow Express services. But Chiltern Railways has to operate services to London Paddington because this document says so, their franchise agreement. This document is basically the contract between the railway company and the UK government, so to modify this document they have to ask the government and, as we all know, sometimes governments aren't very efficient. So, here's your super simple guide to closing a railway route in Britain. Step 1. Perform a transport appraisal. This is basically an analysis of the effects that the line closure will have on passengers, the environment, and the economy. The straightforward three-stage, 14-step process of creating a transport appraisal is explained in this handy 35-page document featuring this super user-friendly flowchart. Once you've completed that, just give it to the UK Department of Transport who will analyze your analysis. Step 2. Publish your proposal of closure, including the findings of your transport appraisal, six months before the proposed closure in one local newspaper circulating near the proposed closure and in two national newspapers for two weeks continuously. Step 3. Open a 12-week consultation period including public hearings where anyone who disagrees with the closure can protest. Once you've completed those three easy steps, then you'll hand everything over to the Office of Rail and Road who will decide whether or not you can close the line. As you might have been able to tell from my not at all sarcastic explanation, it's not easy to close a franchised rail route. But nowhere in the agreement does it say how often Chiltern Railways has to operate their route to Paddington. It just says they need to. So they operate it once per day. Now compared to the US where cities as big as Houston, Texas only see three trains a week and have stations that look like this, a daily service from Paddington probably seems normal. But the station this service goes to, High Wycombe, sees 95 trains a day from the normal London station, Marylebone. One train per day is nothing for a UK train route, especially from London. Chiltern Railways, like many other train companies, have decided it's just easier and cheaper to operate an infrequent service to fulfill their franchise agreement instead of going through the rather expensive formal closure process. But some rail companies have pushed the boundaries of what is considered service to an extreme. Northern's franchise agreement requires them to operate a train between Stockport and Staleybridge, which they fulfill by running one train, one way, once per week. Between Stockport and Staleybridge, there are two stations which are therefore serviced by one train per week. Closing stations is just as difficult as closing lines, so they won't do it. Denton Station therefore recorded only 144 passengers in the past year, while Reddish South saw just 94. 30 miles to the north, London Midland is required to operate services to Barliston Railway Station, but companies are allowed to temporarily operate rail replacement buses during maintenance. This company, however, has interpreted temporary as 13 years, as they've operated rail replacement buses to this station since 2004 to fulfill their obligation. The Chiltern Railway service from London Paddington to High Wycombe is definitively unprofitable. On many days, there are zero passengers. On the day this footage was filmed, there was only one. The bureaucratic closure process is meant to protect the public by preventing companies from closing unprofitable smaller stations, but in reality, most of what it does is make these ghost trains. If you've just realized Ghost Train is a great band name and want to make a website for your new group, you should try Squarespace. Squarespace makes building a website super simple with their customizable templates, powerful website builder, and 24-7 award-winning customer support. They even sell domains, and the good news is that ghosttrain.band is available. Having a web presence for whatever you do is incredibly important since that will be what shows up on Google when someone searches for you. The good news is that you can build your website with Squarespace for 10% off by going to squarespace.com slash HAI. I've used Squarespace for years because it just works. And you should too by going to squarespace.com slash HAI.